Perhaps the most prominent UN figurehead with regards to spiritual unification of the world is this man, Robert Mueller. He died in 2010, but was Under Secretary General of the UN for 40 years, and he is revered within the UN as the philosopher or prophet of hope of the United Nations. His spiritual viewpoints were quite clear. He said, We must move as quickly as possible to a one-world government, a one-world religion, under a one-world leader. He believed that peace for this one-world order rested primarily on religion, saying, Peace will be impossible without the taming of fundamentalism through a united religions that professes faithfulness only to the global spirituality and to the health of this planet. He also said, My great personal dream is to get a tremendous alliance between all the major religions and the UN. Because he held one of the top jobs in the UN for 40 years, he obviously had huge influence on the goals of the organisation, but the problem goes much further than that, because as well as being the driving force behind the spirituality of the UN, he also created something called the World Core Curriculum, which, as the name suggests, is intended to be an education programme or framework for the entire world. He is therefore also known throughout the world as the father of global education. Not only this, but he actually established specialist Robert Mueller schools where his educational ideas could be taught in their purest form. There are over 30 in existence and more are being established each year. The World Core Curriculum earned him the UNESCO Peace Education Prize in 1989. Now since UNESCO is just an NGO of the UN, that seems a little meaningless to give yourself an award, but anyway, Following the plaudits he received from within the UN, he also drew up a framework for world media coverage as well as a framework for planetary and cosmic consciousness and a framework for arts and culture. Basically, these are plans for how they might dominate the information flows to influence the mindsets of the world. My focus is the World Core Curriculum because the idea was that the UN issues this document to the nations who then use it as the framework for their own regional school curriculums. By this method, all the schools around the world would start teaching their kids the same ideas about life. The coming generations would then have the same worldview and the same attitudes for the new world order. Robert Mueller said of it that we must steer our children toward global citizenship, earth-centered beliefs, socialist values and the collective mindset which is becoming a requirement for the 21st century workforce. He went on to say, a world core curriculum might seem utopian today. By the end of the year 2000, it will be a down-to-earth daily reality in all the schools of the world. Now, he was a little ambitious with the timescale, but the determination to see it happen hasn't gone away. Here in Scotland, a new curriculum has just been introduced called the Curriculum for Excellence, and although it has been heavily criticised by parents and by teachers alike, it openly bases itself on UN frameworks, and one of its key components is preparing children for global citizenship, and it uses phrases like, the child's well-being and well-becoming. Most people wouldn't pick up on that, but we know from the evolution part that the word becoming is an occult term for the evolution towards godhood. So if this world core curriculum is to be the source for national curriculums around the world that will be taught to coming generations of children, we need to find out what's in it. Robert Mueller wrote in the World Core Curriculum notes that the underlying philosophy upon which the Robert Mueller School is based will be found in the teaching set forth in the books of Alice A. Bailey. The school is now certified as a United Nations Associated School providing education for international cooperation and peace. So this whole curriculum that is to be implemented around the world and which is to be fed to every child on the planet to prepare them for a one world government rests upon the philosophies of this one woman called Alice A. Bailey. We better find out more about her.